Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, my table is filled with craft stuff. So this is an order um, from scrapbook.com. As you can see, it's overloaded with sequins mixes and also paper at the bottom, which is hiding. So we're gonna start with the sequins mix first and then work our way up to the paper. So let's get started. Okay, so it looks like a lot of sequins mixes here, but it's not, it just has a lot of duplicates because I'm gonna be making some sequins mixes for the holidays for my projects and stuff like that as gifts and stuff like that so it's a lot of duplicates so it looks like a lot but technically it's not so let's get started so i was able to grab and these are new by the way these are new a uh, buttons galore i did a video um before i believe it's up already so you guys can check it out buttons galore did come out with um their new holiday sequence mixes there so um, I was looking back and forth between scrapbook.com and buttons galore to see which one has which and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so I was able to buy from buttons galore and scrapbook.com. So scrapbook.com had the winter whimsy. So I grabbed these. So these are with snow, snowman and snowflakes. So this is winter whimsy. So I grabbed, I believe I grabbed four of these. Yeah, I grabbed four of these right and then this one is called gingerbread delight so you have some gingerbread with some peppermints so i believe i grabbed a bunch of these so where are they okay so i have one two three and then i believe i have another one four so i grabbed four of these so these are gingerbread delight and i think a buttons galore has something similar to that okay so then these are, um, these are called Shake It Up Secret Mix Up, Mix Ups, um, from Buttons Galore. Uh, yes, scrapbook.com do carry Buttons Galore and more sequins, FYI. Um, so this one is called Pastel Blizzard. So you get this fun one with some mittens and some clay snowflakes. So you get to see some tiny little mittens here. Fun. So I grabbed a bunch of these. I grabbed one, two, I think I grabbed four. Yeah, I grabbed four of these. Definitely gonna be using these. Okay, and then this one is called Dare Santa. So this one is this clay Santa with hats and gifts, and it looks like a letter. Oh my gosh, it looks like letters here. I don't know if you can see. Fun. Yeah. How stinking cute. All right, so this one is called Dare Santa. So I grabbed four of these, I believe. So I grabbed three and four. So I grabbed four of these. And then I grabbed frosty flippers. So these are with clay penguins, snowflakes, and other, um, some jemmies in here. So I thought this was fun. So I grabbed, I believe, four. Okay. So I grabbed four of these. Then while I have this one in my hand, this one is full of jemmies. So this one is called Snowscape. So this one has like lavender. It looks like lavender, but it's like iridescent. So it looks like it has like a lavender um, color to that. So I thought this was very, very pretty. So I grabbed four of these. Then this one is, um, this one is called Tree Farm. So this one is a bunch of Christmas trees with some jemmies in it. So you have some green and red and clear jemmies. So I grabbed, I believe four or three, I think. Okay, so this one, let's see. Yeah, so I grabbed four of these. So that's fun. Okay. You see I'm organizing as I go. <laughs> okay, this one is a mix it up sequence. So you have some candy cane and some um, pearls and stuff like that in here. So this one is a festive bliss. So yeah. So I noticed like as throughout the years go in, they're changing the traditional Christmas colors and stuff like that. So you know the tr traditional colors are like green and red and white and cream. So now they're pulling out these pastel, you know, colors and stuff like that, which is different. So I grabbed four of these. And then this one here is called Sweet, sweet Twists. Yeah, Sweet Twists. Very tongue-tied. So yeah, so I grabbed four of these. So these are filled with 
candy cane, like, yeah, candy cane and gemstones and stuff like that, rhinestones in here. So I thought this was very pretty. Um, this one is, um, oh, okay, so this one is Who Village. So this is like the Grinch. Oh, love it. So I'm surprised I only got three of the Grinch. Oh, no, the reason why I got three of the Grinch because it was only three left, so it's pretty much sold out. I don't know if they're going to restock again. But, um, yeah, I'm going to leave all the information in the description box below for Buttons Galore and Scrapple.com. So this one is Who Village. So this is like the Grinch. So you have the little clay Grinch in here, some hearts, and some snowflakes. Very fun. Very, very fun. Okay. This one is called Holly Jolly. So this one has some Christmas trees and some hollies, um, some gemstones in here. Very fun. Definitely going to use this. So I have four of these. And then the last sequence I got was, I don't even know how you pronounce this, Yold, Yold, Yuletide Treasures. Okay, so this has a lot of Christmas presents in it. So, and some little gemstones in here. So, yeah, very colorful. So I grabbed four of these. So I'm going to mix it up with some other sequences that I have in my stash. Yeah, so these were all the sequences that I got from scrapbook.com. So let's go to the paper. Okay, so the paper I got is not a new collection, um, but is a collection um, that I want to work with. Um, so the day that they had, um, that I purchased this, they were giving out free, it was Christmas in July, actually. So they had percentage off and they were giving out freebies with any order that you received uh, or purchased. So these were the two freebies that I got. So this one is shape die. So it's a holiday banners, one six piece. So it has Noel, Merry, and Christmas. So I thought this was, and this was, this is what it looks like when you die cut it out. Fun. And then this one is a stamp. Um, it's like the wall flower. So it looks, yeah, it looks like a stamp die. So you can make holiday stamps if you like. So these were my two freebies that I got. Okay. So um, so this one. Okay. So I I ordered this by mistake, but I don't regret it at all. I thought it was the ephemera to the collection that I purchased. So the collection that I purchased was Candy Cane Lane. Um, this is a Frank Garcia um, collection, but Scrapple.com carries it. Um, so this one here is ephemera, but it's not from the collection, actually. But it is what it is. So you get two of each, and this is what you get. Uh, let's see, do I have to cut it out? Yeah, I have to cut this. Okay, so let me get let me cut this out. Okay, so one escape already. So this is like so it's like gives me like a vintage look. So I'm just gonna give you know give you a sneak peek. I don't even know what this collection. Um oh this is Prima. So this is a Prima collection. Okay, so it has very tiny pieces. So you get two of each as stated. So which is good, which is absolutely fine with me. But like I said, I I purchased this thinking that it was the collection ephemera so but i could still use it anyway so yes yeah, so you get some trees some houses some candy canes wide in the back so it's like a vintage look and feel as well so which is fine the candle is pretty look at this candle very pretty and get some candy cane um yeah so it has a lot of tiny tiny pieces in here so just be mindful you get this snowman very fun you get some santa where is he you get some santa here yeah all right so this this is the ephemera but not for the collection <laughs> um okay it looks like the collection is called from the north pole you get 86 pieces and it's prima market yeah so yeah so that's what you get all right so that's that okay so these are okay so these are the puffy stickers okay so this is candy cane lane so i was able to grab some crystals so these get 48 pieces of self-adhesive embellishments how pretty is this these colors then i grab the puffy stickers and you get 40 pieces so you get some ha huh, um some poinsettia some candy cane gifts and repeat and then i also grab these puffy stickers so you get 21 pieces 
We have Santa, Bose, little girl, the little boy carrying a Christmas tree. Merry Christmas, Merry and Bright. All right, so I grabbed these. It didn't have much of the collection left because, like I said, it's not really a new collection. So I just grabbed what they had. I grabbed the acetate. Yeah, so I grabbed um, four of the acetate sheets because I want to do a project on this. So I grabbed four of the snowflake acetate sheets. Okay, and now for the paper. Um, so this one, this paper stands alone. I think this is the only paper in here. Yeah. So this one is from the Candy Cane Collection. So this is like the, um, so it's double-sided. Yeah, so it's only one sheet here. I guess it couldn't fit all of it. So you get this beautiful page here. And then you get this front page. So it is, it is double-sided. I love to work with Prima um, Collection. So this is that page here. Okay, now this is all the page in this, um, in this, um, kit here. So let's get this open. Okay, so these are the papers that I was able to grab. Like I said, some of them were out of stock. It's not a new collection. So I grabbed what they had, you know, what was left. So I got this beautiful page with poinsettias, it looks like. How pretty. And then you get some cut aparts. Okay, so these are the four by, these are the three by four cut aparts. How pretty is this? Okay. Then I grabbed, okay, so I grabbed two of these. So this one has the stripes here. And then these, okay, so these are the tags. So I'm planning to fuzzy cut these out and use them as tags. Um, I know the back has this print, but it's okay because I can always cut like a plain sheet or something like that and then write to and from. So I grabbed two of these. Then I grabbed two. Oh, I grabbed a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I grabbed a whole bunch of this one because this one is so pretty. I grabbed four of these. Oh my gosh. Look at the foil in this. This is so pretty. And then the back is this beautiful um, print here. So I grabbed four of these. Okay. Then I grabbed one of these. So this one is a stripe here. And then this one is, it looks like it could get cut apart. You can use these for like your junk journaling spreads and stuff. So I grabbed this one and this here. Okay. Then this one is, is this from the collection? Yeah, so this one is a collection. I have to make sure. <laughs> um, so this is this side here. And then you have this beautiful reindeer um, side, which is so pretty. Oh, look at her sleeping. Oh, so cute. Okay. Then I grab um, some acetate. So I grab three of the acetate sheets. Yes, three of the acetate sheets. And then I grabbed some vellum. So I grabbed um, four of the vellum because it's a project that I want to do. So I needed four of the vellum. If whatever I'm, um, so what I'm using it for, if I'm, if I still have these, I might order some more. I don't know. But four will work for what I want to do. Um, so these are vellum sheets. So vellum and acid are two different textures. This one is a lighter, um, a lighter sheet. And the acetate is more thicker um yeah so i grabbed four of these because i thought this was very pretty all right so this was all i got from scrapbook.com some are new which is a sequence mixes and some are old which is from the um candy cane lane um collection from prima and my freebie so yeah so i'm going to try to leave all the information in the description box below to you know to for you to grab whatever is left um so yeah so this is my haul from scrapbook.com i hope you guys enjoyed this small haul if you did give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and oh there's more hauls coming so set your notifications subscribe if you haven't and yeah and i'll see you in my next one bye guys